This is Andrew from Mobile Geeks, and when I'm not driving my Shelby GT500, I'm racing games on my mobile devices. Let's look at 10 of the best. At number 10, Driving Meets Zombies in Earn to Die. I really love the artwork for this game. It looks great, but just about any phone can run it. When I first played it, I was so hooked I seriously did not move. Fast moving zombies are awesome, but instead of running away from them, I think it's time that we run them over, shoot them and watch them leak their own death. Today I'm doing reviews on the big screen. I must say these games look awesome. The graphics are practically on par with the PlayStation 3, so having this much power in my pocket is an amazing feat. It actually looks even better if you're playing on your phone or tablet because of the pixel density. The Colin McRae Rally series is hands down my favorite when it comes to rally games. So why is this game at number 9 you may ask? Well first, it's great that the accelerator, brake and handbrake buttons are customizable, but they really need to be locked in place during the game, otherwise sometimes the buttons overlap and playing on the big screen is just more frustration than fun. At number 8, we have Wipeout, I mean, what's this called, Repulse Phase 3, sorry, kind of, kind of hard to tell. This is the future of racing, I don't know when that will be exactly, but I really, really want a hoverboard, man. In this game, you're a test pilot working for the man. The man runs the corporations, and the corporations run the world. The first thing you will notice when you see this game is how awesome are the graphics. This game is where you can be evil Knievel in the water. You can challenge your friends online or there are different career modes, race, hot lap, elimination and freestyle events. What I really love now is that more and more games are utilizing game saves in the cloud and this is one of them. Ducati Challenge allows you to ride some of the most powerful standard models in Ducati's line, including bikes like the Street Fighter S and Multistrada 1200S. Even the roar of every single engine was recorded live to give you an authentic sound. I have to also say the controls are so responsive, and this is so enjoyable when playing on the big screen. All the games mentioned so far were tested on a Samsung Note 3 hooked up to the TV using an MHL cable, which you can get for under 10 US dollars. I try to go wireless, but that's pretty much unplayable. In off-road legend Sahara, like the name implies, you are going off-road in the desert. It has really good physics, graphics, and death-defying tricks in very big trucks. There's so many ways to finish with a fast time, it's hard to say which way is the fastest. This game is really simple, but like Flappy Birds. It can be simple, yet at the same time really hard. My dream cars are the 1966 Shelby Cobra. As you gradually restore them, you can race people in drag races. And because the race is so short, the distance always the same, the work and improvements you put into the car are obvious. Every car is unique and thus driven differently. Discover your favorite classic car. Ridge Racer has been around for a long time, 21 years in fact. With all the driving games and simulators, it's easy to get the hang of them fairly quickly because the physics stay relatively consistent, and so usually it just takes a little time 
to adjust or get used to the sensitivity of the controls. With this game, you need to understand how you would turn corners if you had jetpacks fitted on the back of the car. Maybe the best way is to imagine that you had an Iron Man suit on, but instead of a suit, you have a car. Asphalt has been one of the best racing games on mobile devices in recent years. There are always a lot of fun, always extreme speed, always spectacular knockouts, and always that damn traffic. This time round, we also have extreme air. This game strives to immerse you with breathtaking visuals like an avalanche on the slopes, flashing lights, advertisements, and glare. So much attention has been put into all the finer details. There are chairs, tables, glass, barricades. There are all kinds of things you can hit. These top five games were played on the big screen using an iPad Air. This is Real Racing 3, and it stays true to real street car racing. I am a huge fan of Gran Turismo. Real Racing 3 was made so epic like Gran Turismo. EA felt my pain and implemented save games in the cloud. Yay! Unlike Gran Turismo, this game is made for everyone. With this kind of advanced steering and braking assistance, even my cat can play. But if you are advanced, you can free yourself, let loose, and see what the cars can really do by turning them off. This is real racing. Get out of my car! What? Get your own sports car.